What's going on everybody? This is Mark from Waist Deep Wade Fishing Channel, Southwest Florida. So, today I want to talk about two things. Fishing rods and reels. Um, you know, there's a lot of people speaking out there and a lot of people have asked me, well, how much money do you need to spend? How many rods and reels do I need to get um, to, to cover all the aspects of inshore fishing? And I'm here to tell you the truth. Um, you know, a lot of the other companies that are out there are not going to not gonna want to hear about this. You know, they're not going to like what I'm about to say. But the truth of the matter is, you only need one fishing rod and one fishing reel. So, let's begin. Let's start with what I use, why I use it, um, and then it will go, but it will talk about how much it's going to cost. So, uh, I like to use a medium action rod, preferably seven foot tall, um, with a fast action tip. Now, let me explain to you what that means. First of all, the seven foot length is the perfect length to throw artificial baits. Me, as an inshore artificial fisherman, um, I do not use live bait, nor do I use cut bait, nor do I use any type of bait. I throw lures, soft plastics, plugs, jigs, spoons. So you need a rod that is built to throw those lures with accuracy long distances. And you also need a rod that's got enough backbone so when that 20 pound redfish hits that spoon, you're gonna be able you know, to, to, to hold on to him. You have something that's gonna give you leverage. Okay, number two, and, and this is a, a big, big, big aspect um, of, fishing, of, the, uh, of the inshore fishing rod industry, price. Now there's other companies out there, um, I'm not gonna name names, I'm not gonna say what they are, but I mean there's some fishing rods out there in excess of $700. But don't get me wrong, they're good rods. And, you know, there's a lot of time and effort and, and they're made from the highest quality products. But I'm here to say that, you know, with the fishing rod that I'm going to speak about, the one that I own, the one that I use, I consider it the best inshore fishing rod, the, farther casting, the, the, the farthest casting rod I've ever used. And I'm going to tell you a little bit about that later. And the lightest fishing rod for inshore that I've ever used. And those all go, all those things go into factor because when you're throwing lures all day long, okay, you know, you tend to, you know, th that shoulder, you know, it tends to, it tends to hurt. You know, you get fatigued, especially if you're a weight fisherman and you're walking around in the water, you're using your leg muscles, your, your ab abdominal muscles, you're using your shoulders, your neck, you're using everything. Okay, so you want a fishing rod that's light, okay, easy to throw, that's gonna let you um, consistently throw lures with accuracy at your targets so that that's going to be the first thing we're going to talk about now the next thing i want to talk about is well you know you're going to have to have a reel uh, something to reel the fish in well that's a whole nother ball game i mean there is reels in excess of three thousand dollars that i've seen out there that i cannot believe someone would spend that type of money now don't get me wrong the reel i'm using is in you know it's in the mid 200s and the rod that I'm using is in the mid 200s, okay you know it's a, it's a 400 and you know when it's all said and done it's a 450 dollar setup, and worth every penny. Would I pay more um, for another rod and reel? Yeah, you know if 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 I was a collector and I wanted a whole bunch of high end reels, yeah maybe. But for the purpose and for what I do, I have the best rod and reel combo that money can buy, and I want to show everybody that. And get every get everybody's uh, uh, give everybody an opportunity to see what is the best of the best out there, because I have it. So now let's jump into another topic real quick, um, and that's going to be well, what what makes my rod different? You know, well, what makes it different than everything else? You know, everybody else. Well, I'm going to explain that to you here in a minute. I'm actually going to show it to you. Um, first of all. On my fishing rod, if you notice, every one of my eyes on the rod are strategically placed and they're all different. And why are they made like that? There's nine eyes on my rod. Well, they're, they're, they're made that way. So when I cast that line, 
when that line is coming off the reel and flowing through those eyes, it has the, it, it, basically what happens is the line does not contact the eye. Less friction from that braided line hitting that eye, the farther I can throw. So I'm gonna show you the rod real quick. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera so you can get a bird's eye view of what the rod looks like. So I'm gonna start it here. We'll start at the end. I'm gonna bring it real close so you can see it. So now you have, you have your cork bottom. That's Brazilian cork, by the way. Okay, everything is titanium on here. Anti-corrosion, I mean, made from the highest quality carbon fibers. Let me bring the name of it up here. As you can see, it's a St. Croix Avid Inshore. I believe it's one of the best rods ever made. So I'm gonna slide it down the line here, show you one of the eyes. Keep on going with it. Keep on sliding it down. And there we go to the very, very end. All right, I'll bring it back. All right, so you can see it again. Let me show you that right there. There's the real seats. And again, there's the cork. So, that particular fishing rod, um, I've been using it now for two years, and unbelievable, unbelievable. It has held up against 40 inch snook, I don't know, uh, 30, 35 to 38 inch redfish, you know, over 20 pounds, uh, a 40 pound black drum, um, thousands of sea trout. Um, comes with a 15 year warranty, it's a St. Croix, seven foot, medium action, fast tip, uh, made by, it's an Avid Inshore, made by St. Croix. Phenomenal rod, got nothing but good things to say about it. Um, also comes with a 15 year warranty, which uh, I'm very impressed with. So, you know, my hat is off to them. I'm uh, just giving everyone, a, you know, a, a, a basically um, a tutorial on why I think this is the best rod, you know, for your buck. I love it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Uh, it's been been nothing but good to me, and it's it's super light. I think it only weighs. Uh, I believe my whole rod and reel setup, I believe weighs 11 ounces. I know the the reel, uh, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, weighs only, I think it's 8.3 ounces. So um, I guess right now we'll get right into that subject since I brought that up. The reel that I use is a, Sh a Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. Now I had bought this reel about a year and a half ago and I was a little indecisive about it because it felt, you know, it felt so light, <clears throat> it felt flimsy, it felt like it was almost made out of plastic. But, <laughs> you know, lesson learned. I'm glad I bought it um, because it's been nothing but good to me. It's got 20 pounds of drag. You know, I can put almost 200, 200 and something yards of 10 pound Power Pro braided line on it cast like a dream smooth as butter nothing but good good things to say i give it five stars i wouldn't change it i wouldn't put another reel on this rod you know that's it so i want to give you guys a little you know a little opportunity to see what it looks like um again you know this is my choice you know everyone out there it depends on what they feel comfortable with i can just say um, as a left-handed fisherman and i have it set up you know for a left-hander um I can cast I can cast a, a, a lure easily, easily, 60 to 75 yards on this rod and reel. And if I got the wind behind me, forget it. If it's if it's a half ounce, if it's a half a half ounce plug, I I damn near can cast a whole football field. Um, so you know, what, being an inshore fisherman, you know that's what you want. You want to be able to cast those lures with a lot of distance, and you want some backbone in the rod. So once you hook the fish, you're going to be able to get them in and use that rod as leverage. And also use the reel. You know, the, the, the reel itself, 
you know, comes with 20 pounds of drag, that's more than enough. I've seen fishermen with only seven pounds of drag uh, pulling in redfish, you know, 20 pounds. Yeah, it takes them longer, but it still works. So let's go ahead, show you that reel and explain to you and show you the details on it. So here it is. I'm gonna start here and uh, I wanna show you how she looks. She's beautiful. All right. So you can see that angle, this angle, this angle. I mean, it, it's, it's a work of art. Not only is it a great fishing rod, but, I mean, fishing reel, excuse me, but it's one of the best reels I've ever owned. So that is the Shimano Stratic CI4 Plus. And I purchased that back in 2018. I believe I paid $229 for it. Um, one of the best reels I've ever, I've ever owned and one of the lightest, 8.3 ounces. So this whole rod and reel setup that you see in my hand right here, okay, this whole rod and reel setup weighs less, weighs less than 12 ounces. I can cast all day long with minimal fatigue. So guys, I also want to thank you for tuning in today.